Hello! My name is Ebony Thief and welcome back to more Legends of Heroes Trails in the Sky. Got it. I got it that time. Okay, there's really... So as an update, these two kids... Oh my god, my voice. These two kids, yeah, Luke and Pat, went in here and there's monsters like everywhere. And they're in trouble, it looks like. Oh wow, Pat has the sense to run full speed in the direction of the boys. Rush them simultaneously with Joshua. Let's go. Right, I got your back. Yeah, what? Okay. You monsters, go somewhere else. No, shoo, shoo, leave us alone. Two? Oh, wow. Okay. Estelle, what are you doing here? Joshua, you're here too. Get back, you two. These monsters are playing around. We'll take care of them. Okay, this music is different. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, well then. What is their thing? Okay. That's Estelle, and then under her is, uh, Luke. Okay. So what we need to do, we need to... Can you cast an arc to get rid of them? You know what? Wrong person. Can you craft a dual strike? When will you do that? Do you do that now? Okay, good. Thank you. Critical. I'm thinking just plain old back with her. Yeah. And still not. Where are you going? <laughs> yes, just stay, stay over there. Hi. I wish I had counter. You can get started on that guy. Wait, what? Where are you? Where are you? Why are you coming closer to the monster? Pat, right? Pat, you're the smart one. Don't do that. I know you're behind her and everything, but they could fly around her. That's that. Let's move out. I love how the escorts. There's no effort <laughs> on them. All right, let's get out of here. Don't be stupid. We're leaving. I'm glad everyone's safe. By the way, that was great timing. The way you blitz this monster and stuff. You really think so? Is it safe now? Oh man, that was awesome! Let's run to the top! You really showed them, Estelle. Not bad for a girl. You little twerp. Ow, that hurts. What are you trying to do to me? What's wrong with you? You even dragged poor Pat all the way up here against his will. Time to think about what you did today. Ow, you're hurting me! Stop it! I said stop it, you violent she <laughs> This is the thanks I get for saving your neck, huh? Looks like it's time to give you some of my special discipline. Oh. Yeah, her special discipline requires her to jump on you. Um, Estelle? Shouldn't we forgive, forgive each other? Like they teach at school. Um, there's kind of something behind you. I don't like how it looks. Oh my god! Turn around. It's still behind you. It's something with teeth, isn't it? I I don't think so. I don't think it has teeth. Actually, I don't know. What is that? A snail shark? I'm not gonna make it in time. You're right there. Oh, hi. Who? Cassius? Hey. Dad, you came! You are epic, dude. Holy crap. You still lack skill and understanding still. You must always prepare for unseen danger by sharpening your senses. That's part of what it means to be a bracer. Dad? What are you doing here? 
I just happened to be in town and heard the whole story. From I... Ina? Ina? Ina. I don't know what... I don't know. A Ina? Ina. Aina. <laughs> I don't know. I'll give you points for quick thinking and taking action to come after the children. But you failed to follow through completely. I really messed up, didn't I? It's a good thing you showed up when you did. I'm sorry, I should have been watching her back. That just means that you have room for improvement. Do this later in the game and you're both dead. Understood. So how about we head home, everyone? Can you boys walk? I think so. Nothing happened to you! You better be walking! You're like a gazillion times more awesome than a cell. Haha, <laughs> of course I was. I'm her father. Alright, everyone, let's file on out of here. I'm with you, Mr. Bright. Wow, you're so respectful to her old man. Little piece of crap, I hope you fall. Who's a glory hog now? I mean, I guess I should be thankful that Dad saved my behind. But why does he have to go and take all the credit like that? It really chaps my hide. That's just the way he is. After all, he's Cassius Bright. He ain't gonna last. It seems you have quite the day. Or you had quite the day. That is just unbelievable. The second we get back to Roland, he says, I'll leave the reporting to you, and takes off for home. The sheer nerve, I tell you. There's no need to make a mountain out of a molehill. At least the boys came back safe and sound. Anyway, I think that's all there is to report. Child rescue! Oh, I did get paid! 900, that's nice. Ooh, 3 BP. 1,000. You did well for your first assignment. From the details of your report alone, I can... I believe I can condemn... No, commend? <laughs> I can condemn you for doing a great job. No. Commend. You should be proud of yourselves. You really think so? I know so. In fact, you'll do even you'll do even better on your next jump. If anything else comes up, I would appreciate your help again. Sure. And she's down. I guess we better. I still got dinner to prepare. Would you mind holding on a second? A letter arrived for your father just a little while ago. Unfortunately, since we went straight home, I never got the chance to give it to him. Do you think you could deliver it instead? I wonder if it's more work-related so. I imagine so. The letter appears to be from one of our foreign branches. One of the guilds of foreign branches? Hmm, you interested in that, Joshua? Where are you from? What's your home country? As I'm sure you already know by now, Liberal isn't the only country where the Bracer Guild exists. On top of that, your father is widely known all across... Where? Zumurin? 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 Zemurian. Zemurian continent. Zemurian. So we can expect these kinds of letters from time to time. If you two could be so kind as to make sure he gets this letter, I would really appreciate it. Let's open it! What? No jobless things. Got a sneeze coming, and then it went away. Hi, who are you? For a backwards town, these stores do carry a pretty nice selection of goods. The liberal kingdom definitely has a different feel with all these ornaments everywhere. Itch. Itch. I better get into the mood to do business starting tomorrow or I'm gonna face some serious financial repercussions. Yeah, like being broke. LZ Highway. Hey, Joshua. I'm still feeling down. Do you think I'm really cut out to be a bracer? Well, you seem to have inherited your father's skill with the staff. And your nosy personality doesn't get... doesn't let you ignore someone in distress. Really? You think so? Sure, but why are you asking? Are you still thinking about what happened back in the tower? Yeah. Because of my carelessness, Luke almost got caught in the middle of a dangerous situation. And you almost died. If Dad hadn't come when he did, he could have been seriously injured. And you could have... No, okay. I guess I'm just worried about whether or not I'll be able to stay on top of things in the future. It's your first one. Learn from it and don't fuck up. 
If we fail today, then all that's left is all that's left to do is to take back our losses tomorrow. Overthinking and worrying about things haven't hap that haven't happened yet is definitely not like you. Is it being a bracer what you've always dreamt of? How can you expect to succeed if you let something like what happened today discourage you now? You're right. This isn't like me at all. Here it is. Okay, I admit, last comment was pushing things a bit. I'll overlook it this one time. And thanks for cheering me up. I don't know about you, but I'm so ready to get home and eat. You have to make the food. You are the one to make the food. Hope you know that. Uh, wait. Where do I go? Can I go this way? Right? It's getting late. I'm sure Dad's waiting for us, so let's head home. Mind you that. Is that not home? Okay, that's not home. <laughs> Wrong way. Excuse me. Nope, there's nothing over there. Not yet. Hey, Dad. You think you can make a dinner because we had a really traumatizing experience? And why are we the only house over here? So far from everyone. Well, this is where they train. There's a standing log for staff practice. So she learned how to use the staff from her dad, but where did he learn how to use the two dagger thingies that he has? Hey. You in here? Hi. We're home, Dad. We finished reporting to the guild like you told us to. Good work, kids. The details of your reports will be reviewed at each branch. So do they have... Well, they got ornaments and magic, so I assume that they have something like... A fax machine, that's what it's called. Please make sure that you always remember to do it. Don't worry, we will. Before I forget, I got a copy of the liberal news you wanted. There was this letter for you at the guild too. You have a lot to do. A letter? Huh. I'm gonna get cleaned up and start dinner. Oh, and Dad. Thanks for coming in when you did today. You really helped me out back there. He's still looking surprised. I see you're being rather gracious today. Papa is happy. How delightful that my daughter has finally understood what a great man her father truly is. There's no need to hold back, Estelle. Come and jump into your father's loving arms. In your dreams. I swear, the men in this house have one thing in common. They never know when to shut up. What's the letter about? What's the letter about? Is it from his country? I didn't do much, I just gave her a push in the right direction. But still is a resilient girl to begin with. Yeah, she is okay. She'll run into more. It's okay. There's that soft side of yours talking again. Oh my god, what did she do? What are you doing? I think I'll go help her with dinner. Open the letter! A disparate is no telling. Letter. Haha. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Yes. <laughs> Cassius cuts the letter sealed. Hmm. A message from the Eerie Bonian Empire. Ooh, that face. Uh oh. What? 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 Oh, she made a salad. <laughs> you can you can't burn it. I don't know how you 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 shouldn't burn a salad. It's a salad. Well, this is a surprise. This new dish is what I saw. Estelle's explosion over rice. Be sure to savor savor every last morsel. I will, you're cooking- oh my, I can't speak. I will, your cooking this evening is excellent. My 
compliments to the chef. This is raw talent at its best. Today certainly has been a busy but great day nonetheless. What happened to your mom, by the way? Was she a bracer and just kind of died? What's up with that? Not to mention the food being delicious. For a first attempt, this dish is quite edible. <laughs> I have to pitch it out the window when you weren't looking. You should get a dog. Actually, the dog wouldn't need it either. Sometimes it's just so despicably rude, Dad. Don't know how to be humble and just say something tastes nice. Alright, then how about this? Boy, I never thought I'd be able to eat something wonderful like this before I had to leave on business. Can you leave your letter behind? Thanks, Dad. He's leaving. Yep. Are you really leaving again? Yes. Something unexpected came up. This time, I'm going to be away for a while. Hold on a minute. You're leaving? When? Uh, I was gonna say tonight. <laughs> what? I don't care what kind of job you're doing. That's just too soon. It's about that letter, isn't it? Was there some sort of incident? Oh, it's nothing like that. It's exactly like that. I'll have to visit a number of places, so it'll take me about a solid month before I'm through. That being the case, please take good care of the house while I'm away. What do you mean, that being the case? You always use some vague excuse like that and take off for who knows how long. You have to accept it, Estelle. Bleh. A bracer's job is to help those who come to us for help. I know, I know, but what are you going to do about all your jobs here in the Rolent branch? Oh, only about five or six. We'll take care of them. What? Are you really asking us to do the work that you're supposed to be doing? That I am! I have to do the ones which I think you can accomplish. Or I'll have, I'll have you do the ones I think you can accomplish. I'd like to, but is there really a... Like, yeah, let's just let's get some money. Yeah, no problem. Looks like a good way to get some experience as a bracer and money. Money. Then it's settled. I'll stop by the guild and let that one chick know that I'm leaving and you're doing all my crap for me. I have to bust their tails with these jobs so we don't tarnish the name while you're gone. Oh, Estelle, my beloved daughter. Papa is so proud. Oh, my dear Lena, who art thou in heaven? Can you see your daughter now? A little Estelle has grown up to be such a lovely young woman. Face it, Dad, you're getting old. If people lose their trust in you at this age, you might as well just throw in the towel forever. I'm only helping you out because I'm your daughter. I have a duty to pay you back for the- Oh, she's 16. Got it. <laughs> I'm only 45. And what's more, I'm very likely- I'm very likely the most active member in this entire guild. By the way, Dad, which flight will you be on tomorrow? The one headed for Grand Cell or the one headed for Bose? I'll be on the one handed for Grand Cell. Grand Cell. My flight departs at 10 o'clock in the morning. That means I'll have to get up a little earlier tomorrow. I better set my alarm clock just in case. You're probably not getting up in time. You got a flight in the morning. Is that a glass of whiskey? Ha! Dad? Are you still awake, Joshua? Ha <laughs> it is! You better hold off on the liquor or so we'll get mad again. This is just my way of lifting my spirits before I travel. How about yourself? Would you like to join me for a drink? He's 16! Maybe! Yeah, 16, right? I don't know. He does not look that old in his picture. Talk. Talk, yes. 
There's no conclusive evidence, but there appears to be some sort of movement within the Empire. Is that where you're from? The Erebonian Empire. That sounds pretty suspicious. This movement doesn't appear to be overt, but that's what has me worried. I intend to do a little probing at the Erebonian Embassy to see what turns up. Understood. I'll make sure to look after her stuff while you're gone. Don't you spoil that girl, you hear me? Unless she's become a bracer, she needs to learn how to look after herself. Still will be fine. She's got good instincts, and despite being a bit rough around the edges, she has talent with the staff as well. There's no doubt in my mind that she'll be a first-class bracer someday. Yet at present, she's like a babe in, the, in arms who knows nothing about realities of the world around her. At some point in time, she'll have to choose which path to follow in life. I have been making choices lately. Hmm. And Joshua. The same thing can be said for you, too. It's already been five years since he became a part of his family, hasn't it? About what you said back then. Are you sure you won't reconsider taking those words back? <laughs> oh, jeez, that just ruins everything. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. What's up with you, Joshua? Oh. <laughs> Prologue. Oh, this reminds me of Fire Emblem and how it's done in chapters. Well, 9 and 10, right? Yeah, 10 was done in chapters. I only played those two. <laughs> I think a chapter's end and there we go. Oh my god. I think a chapter end is a good time to end. So thank you for watching and I'll be back with another video. 